Imagine every student with asthma, anxiety, panic disorder, sleep disorders, breathlessness during physical exercise. When they go to a yoga studio, that the instructor is able to assess their breathing patterns and that the instructor is able to weave breathing exercises from a biochemical point of view, a biomechanical point of view and a psychophysiological point of view into asanas. Originally breathing as developed thousands of years ago, the word subtle as described in the book by Robin Rottenberg, Restoring Prana. And subtle implies that breathing is very light and smooth. So smooth in fact that the fine hairs within the nostrils do not move. Often the emphasis is during yoga practice is to breathe full deep breaths. But the risk with this, while it's targeting the biomechanics, it can be sacrificing the biochemistry. I can imagine a person with asthma going into a yoga studio and a yoga instructor is able to give them feedback of their breathing based on their comfortable breath toll time or bolt score. The yoga instructor is able to encourage that individual to decongest their nose because normally with asthma whatever is happening in the lungs will travel up to the nose and the person is more likely to have a stuffy nose.